What up, y'all? T-Biz here. We got another action figure. Check out. This is a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. This is brought to you by, it looks like, Maestro Union and um, and uh, it's uh, Furry Planet. Or Furry. The Furry Planet or whatever. I don't know if you want to call it the Furry or the Furry or whatever. But anyways, Wilderness Hunter Crocker. So yeah, he looks like, um, reminds me of uh, Leatherhead or whatever. Leatherface, Leatherhead or whatever. The guy from uh, Ninja Turtles. And um, yeah, man, or maybe Killer Croc, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we'll have to check him out. Wasn't cheap, he's about 80 or 90 bucks or so. He's kind of expensive, but uh, we, look, we gotta see if he's worth it, man. First of all, comic book included, transforms between two styles. Um, we've got a person breaker or prison breaker, not person breaker, but prison breaker, uh, with his um, shackles and stuff. Then the hunter, that's him with his vest and his hat and his pow pow gun. And let's see, he's got a let's replace, replace, replace. So yeah, I guess, I don't know, I guess you can, I don't know why it says replace. I guess how you can move his, articulate his head or whatever, or his neck, so to speak. Um, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a, uh, let's see, t -t 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 people that were involved. Sculpting and Paint, Pinocchio Dad, comic book, cover illustration, Benjamin Makar. Um, let's see, comic book, Jinbin, and uh, story of packaging, Marcus Chang. So yeah, there you go. This is a 2022, made in 2022. And there's your uh, Facebooks and Instagram. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy open. Alive, folks. Out. This guy is Chungalicious McNasty. He is freaking huge. He's, uh, here's some instructions. Let's see, lift arms uh, to the rear to suit on the waistcoat. So yeah, you can do that. And then the two tail ends of the chain can be locked to keep Crocker handcuffed. And let's see, and let's, uh, the handcuffs can hang on the hook to make full accessories for storage. So that's cool too, man. Really cool. And he comes with a comic. Which drops F-bomb on the cover, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, Great Planet Wilderness Hunter Crocker. So yeah, comic looks actually pretty good, man. Not too bad. That's pretty cool, man. Should be an interesting read. Looks like just regular paper stock. It's not very glossy at all. Just like flat, flat paper. Anyways, um, here's uh, I guess a neck piece if you want to have them look straight. So that's pretty cool. You can just clip that in. And then here's one if you want him to look to the right. And he has a one on right now. If he wants to look to the left, so. Yeah, there's those two pieces. He's got hands, extra hands. With big old ginormous claws, man. Look at those. Look at those freaking claws, dude. They'll take you under. Oof, they'll roll you, man. Roll you under. Got pointy hands. So that's cool. Or if he wants to pick a croc booger or whatever. So that's cool. Really nice sculpts on these. Once again, we're just... Uh, Piling hands and hands on every review. <laughs> At the end of the review season or whatever month, that'll just be like piles of hands. Anyways, um, here's a big ass knife. That this knife is crazy. That's not a knife. This is a knife. This thing's crazy. Crazy huge. He's got a pump action shotgun, <laughs> which is pretty rad. I don't know if you can put blasty effects on this thing, but that would have been cool. You might make some that would fit, but yeah. Decent little paint apps, not nothing to, nothing to write home about, but it's still really cool. Uh, here's his shackles, so that's cool. You can just pop off his hands and put those on. They're supposed to interlock. I don't see how, but they're supposed to. I guess if you want to, yeah, if you want to bend that out a little bit, I guess you can lock those together. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to do that all the time, to be honest with you. Out of fear of just breaking it or whatever. Here's his little pouch that can peg onto his belt. So that's cool. And here's another little sack thing. Let's see if we can get his some kind of soft good in here. Let me see. Okay, yeah, you can just strap it along him. Yeah, just like a belt. So that's cool. Then you can put his gun in there. So that's that's pretty nifty. That's actually really not bad. Really cool piece. Let's see what else. He's got his cute little hat. So that's cool. With strings, so yeah, you can attach it. And it's got a magnet, so it can actually be magnified to the top of his head. 
that's cool, man. You actually feel that. So that actually works. It's badass. Really good deal. Check out our Hunter Crocker guy. And he stands right out of the package, which is really awesome too for a figure this heavy of this girth and height. So yeah, he's cool, man. Nice paint apps. I like how they did that, how they added that white in there. It might be hard to see on cam, but it's, it's it has like a cool glistening effect that's there and not there. But yeah, he's really cool, man. The apps are nice. Oh, look at the back of his jacket. This really is real because they show that on the packaging. It's a bunch of Benjamins <laughs> all over his back of his vest. That's awesome. There's a, whole, a peg for his tail, which we need to look at that real quick. Here's his tail. It's mildly articulated. It's nothing too crazy, but I don't want to. I don't want to work the crap out of it either. I don't see the point in doing stuff like that. And you know, if it doesn't want to give, it doesn't want to give. Um, so let's try to peg that in. Man, I'm gonna say it's gonna take some strength. He's got his tail on, but let's check out some of his articulation first off. Uh, actually, let's take Focus his coat off. Go. Let's go ahead and get this light situated a little bit. And yeah, man, let's check him out. And so much stuff everywhere with this guy. Comes with a lot, really hell of a lot. So yeah, so the arms go out. That's pretty good. Nice T. And he's got they go out. You see, and they go in. Bicep, so that's cool. You got elbows, and I believe there's a swivel on the elbow too. So we got that. This will go all the way around. Hands, too. So you got a little bit up and down, side to side, whatever. Swivel, diaphragm, somewhat. It can go side to side. It's a little sticky. But no ab crunch or nothing like that. Then a swivel. So that's cool on the waist. That's cool. So you might have to work that a little bit. It's a little sticky or detented. I can't tell. It might just be sticky. Um, so he's not going to do splits. But he can run. He can stand, obviously. He's got knees. Then he's got a, let's see, looks like there's a hinge for his toes. <clears throat> Not much though. It doesn't seem like a whole hell of a lot of a hinge, but you may want to heat that up or not. But yeah, it's not a huge hinge, <clears throat> but it's there. So yeah, there you go. But nice detail on the pants too though. Nice paint apps and stuff in the feet as well. All together, we got his tail on, but you got to heat that up pretty good to get that tail on there. So that's pretty cool. It works, man. It's nice, man. It's nice. Um, his little pouch accessory is supposed to fit back here, but it doesn't really go on that well. I don't know if you just need to lube it up with some soap or something. I tried heating it, but it's just a pain in the butt to get on, and you might just have to get some soap or something and um, lube it up or whatever because... It's really hard to get that peg to stay in there and stick in. Because what you do is you have your knife in that little scabbard or whatever. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Yeah, easy peasy. But um, it might stick in better with the knife attached to it. So, I don't know. It might be a little easier that way. Eh, is what it is. This is something either you want to lube up with some 3-in-1 oil and glue in there or I don't know what but yeah you might want to glue that in and it just fits like so so that's cool and his mouth do we have a hinge on the mouth yeah we do oh his mouth opens so that's cool man nice paint details in there and sculpt There's his teeth that's pretty rad man that's cool we gotta try to get this neck piece out and uh it's yeah, actually relatively that. simple man so that's that's really cool so I think we gotta peg this out too, or unpeg it. So yeah, there we go. And then just get the straightaway head. Uh, man, yeah, you probably want to heat this up all the time. Too. <laughs> just just place it in like like so. You, you gotta use some man strength on this for sure. Yeah, and it fits in easily. So yeah, there you go. 
That's a straightaway head, so that's cool, man. Really cool. Here we have him all posed out with his shackles. That's rad. This thing's cool, man. This is a really fun figure, dude. I don't know why. He's huge, too, man. Really cool. And he stands pretty well, man. He's not, for being a heavy figure, you don't really have to have a problem standing him up, so that's really cool. That is really rad, man. Really not bad, dude. For an indie figure, dude. Really, really not bad. But yeah, you could kind of like that. Or see if we can, yeah. You kind of don't want to force that too far because then, yeah, he'll. He won't be counterbalanced or whatever, but other than that, really cool. Hey folks, and here's our Hunter Crocker all loaded up. We've got his uh, his good old pow pow gun, his knife to do some stabby stabby, his uh, his hat which is fits magnetically on here, and it's got the cord all tied together, so that's cool too. In case you don't want to have it on there or whatever, or uh, it's pretty rad, man. Or just store it somewhere else on him. But yeah, there's his hat. So that's pretty freaking rad. That is cool, man. His shackles attached, locked together. And, um, yeah. And then his holster strapped on. of his uh, vest of Benjamins. <laughs> this thing is rad, dude. This is a really cool figure. If you like, you know, animal figures and stuff like that, this is uh, this is, will be right up your alley. I know my buddy Overlord will be wanting this figure as soon as I review it. Anyways, um, also props to my buddy uh, Evil Villain. Uh, he's clued me into this figure a long long time ago like last year sometime and i was like yeah it's pretty badass and uh now when i saw it at bbts i was like hey why not man why not check it out dude because um that's the whole thing about this channel and the reason it started out is like i wanted to eventually check out things that nobody else was checking out but now if you look at nowadays everybody's checking out the same shit so it doesn't really matter anymore <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore everybody's doing the same thing and there's nothing new under the sun but, um, yeah, it's really cool, though, man. Really cool. Like it. It's worth the money. Go to BigBackToyStore.com. And, yeah, check it out if you like it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. And have a good one. All right? Later. Oh, wait. We're not going to laters yet because we got to do science comparison. So even though they're all posed up, here he is next to good old Nightwing and Tongue Lasher from Masters of Universe Origins. So if this gives you any idea, I mean, that's what the size is. It's around that, even when he's posed up. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a How's good one. How's it going, right, folks? Later. Anyways, yeah. <laughs>